Well, good morning. <clears throat> Lost my voice for a second. Ah, it's Saturday morning, Labor Day weekend. The talon hasn't been touched. As you can see, we kind of got a mess going in here. I've been busy, guys. I've been busy. But today is Talon Day. After this delicious burrito right here. There's one in there, too. But that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to start assembling the engine. Brad's going to come over. I got metal in my eye, so don't look at that. If I get it out, it'll be fine. Um, he's going to come over. Help me set this thing in. It's block ready. Rods, pistons, bearings somewhere under there. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Brad said that we're going to put it together. And he wants it running by the end of the day. Apparently, he's in charge. <laughs> so, oh, let's get started. Well guys, got all the rings on the pistons. Um, we're getting ready to uh, put the main bearings in. And then I realized that I threw them in the garbage because I was mad. These are seven bolt mains. And obviously, I have a six bolt. But, Dan from Precision Race Engines says that he's pretty sure he has a set. He's out of town today. He'll be back to town tomorrow afternoon. So it looks like I have a road trip in my future. Um, so we're gonna go get those tomorrow and hopefully get this thing together. Um, you know, cause it can never be easy, can it? So yeah, that's uh, that's what's going on. That's how far we got. Um, I'm just gonna keep cleaning some stuff up and get stuff ready. Um, just so, uh, mark. So it goes a little smoother once we get the bearings and all that. So hopefully he has a set. He's gonna let me know tomorrow. And then I'll drive down and get them. So yeah, just another bump in the road. We'll be fine. It'll be fine. Well, since we can't do anything with Eric's town till tomorrow. Till tomorrow finally get this thing worked on get these brakes on get them bled and that's just one piece of the puzzle done because I got some good news but I'm not gonna say the good news I'm sure you assume what you think the good news is but I'm not gonna jinx it because things happen like with his bearing so but I did get slicks it was a shit show that took three months four months yeah it was four months so here's one step I get this whole garage cleaned again as usual, like I always say, because I'm always trashing things because I have nothing to do in here. But now it's go time, and it's really go time for that guy. So we'll see. We'll see how it all pans together. It wouldn't be Eric if it wasn't a shit show the final three days. Ta -da. Yep. So instead of just calling it a day, we're going to utilize our time and work on the other race car and start getting ready for next year's Quest for Nines. Kind of getting excited. And, don't forget, next weekend, Proving Grounds, cash payouts. Well, by the time you're seeing this, I hope you're at Proving Grounds. Getting ready and practicing to participate in this. Take our money, win it. Well, we got her all back together and the brakes work. Pretty sick. This thing's a pretty neat deal. You barely got to pull back. never put one of those in before but it works we we're spinning it around and it was stopping so that's the name of the game so that was pretty exciting so hopefully uh here this week we can get uh eric's stuff running and good to go because next weekend's a big weekend and we should be running but it was nice to take a break and start working on this thing a little bit because this stuff's starting to get put together here very very shortly 
So I'm excited. Get ready this winter. Get myself a tune date. Safety first and all that good stuff. So we'll see what Eric's got. Well, I guess you didn't expect to see me because we were supposed to be getting Eric's car done, but things didn't work out too hot this time. So we had run into problems like Eric was just saying just a couple minutes ago. I mean, for us, it's been a couple days, but so he had uh, the wrong bearings, which Dan came through and he got some and Eric went down yesterday and picked them up, which is super dope. That was pretty awesome that Dan had that stuff. But unfortunately, he ran into some more issues and, uh, you know, with things going fast and building things, you know, as quick as possible, especially Eric. I mean, holy shit. I mean, giving it seven days to put his whole car from bare block to running and hopefully running a 10. I mean, that's a lot to ask for, but this time did not work out, unfortunately, but that's, that's racing and it's fine. So we'll just be focusing on getting footage of proving grounds, which is, well, if you're watching this, you should be there already. I mean, if you're not from our area, we'll have a video for you next week. So, got a lot of stuff going on with this car. Finally got some good news about it. Like I said, I'm not going to confirm until it actually happens. You probably know what it is, but like I said, I'm not going to speculate. I'm not going to get my hopes up. But if things happen, things happen and things are rock on. So, excited for that thing. This, uh, I believe this would be Sunday. Either way, it's this weekend. Cash payouts, you guys. Cash payouts. If you don't know, you should know. Come take our money. We're sponsoring the 62 millimeter class, and that's pretty badass. And Eric was gonna compete against, er, compete in that, but obviously it's not happening this time around, which is, which is fine, which is cool, because then, you know, we can enjoy our last big event of the year before, before the winter sets in, and we can focus on this. Eric's got a couple projects in mind. Hopefully things work out for him on that. And yeah, should be a good weekend. Hope to see you guys out there. Um, if I do see you out there, we're gonna bring the no door out there. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Come shoot the shit, drink a beer with us, all that fun stuff. So uh, support your local racetrack, Saturdays for the boys. Make sure you guys take care of each other because we all need it.